Can old people retire and live in another country? Yes. What's the worst that can happen? You'll die? If you're old like us, you may find this vlog something you can relate to after you figure out what a vlog is. Or you may find it amusing, or you may just enjoy Gigi painting her memories. If you're not old, you may find us funny and even learn something. Either way, welcome to our channel, and we hope you subscribe and enjoy. So, you've retired, or are on the horizon of retiring, you know your life is going to change. You're a bit nervous about what those changes will be. But nevertheless, you make plans, whether those plans include buying an RV and a tow car, downsizing your home, moving to a better climate, or retiring in a foreign country. We're here to cheer you on and tell you anything is possible and doable and even fun. What's the worst that can happen? You can die? That can happen if you don't leave your comfortable recliner. You can get sick. Who doesn't have some ailment? You know they actually have medicine and doctors all over the world. Some good, some bad. Just like where you live now. You don't like it and you go back to what you already know in your comfort zone? It's okay. The experience will be an amazing shorter experience or a long vacation. Call it what you want. You really can't fail. It's all just a continuing learning experience and it's a lot of fun. You may be thinking, well, I don't have the stamina to to do all that traveling and walking and sightseeing. When you live where you once vacationed, you quickly learn to pace yourself and you work within your limitations like you do every day already. It's just instead of waking up to your old neighborhood, you're in a whole new place to discover. How exciting. Yes, you have to wait a little later in the day to begin and you may end your trip early to get home before dark because you can't see, but it's fine. You had five hours of seeing new things, smelling new smells, and hopefully tasting something amazing. You've bought a great bottle of new wine to try. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? Remember, you don't have to answer to anyone except God and each other. There's no checklist you have to tick off. Just do what you want or can afford and enjoy the ride. Remember, this is what you've been dreaming of during those long business working hours you've been excited and planning. You've planned your work, now work your plan. Walk more, be outside, eat more things new, learn something new. Remember, you're retired and you're living your dream and you're having fun telling stories. Here's today's story. When I retired in 2017, Gigi and I got our citizenship and visa to live in Italy. We picked Sicily because Gigi's family is from Messina and we preferred the climate there and Gigi loves the sea and Sicily. For me, living as an expat was a bit harder as I am more of a homebody, enjoying my pets and upkeep of my home and automobiles. As travelers, you have to live a simple life with few comforts you can bring along with you. So I was extremely delighted when the first apartment we lived in was with a kind family who had a dog named Mateo, Teo for short, and he loved visiting each day and the owners included us in activities around the beautiful property. Some of those activities were different for me, like picking up tuna at the fish market and boiling it into canned tuna, or gathering quail eggs and blood oranges. It made me feel more at home and more comfortable. In fact, many of the places we lived in the USA and Italy came with a pet or had a neighbor who shared. Let me tell you about the time I met Teo. I don't really know what species of dog he was. He was big long-haired, burly, and he lets you know that he was in charge of the property. He was the, the in-compound in watchdog, old in age, but didn't miss a trick. Every time he, Gigi would start to cook a meal, he could smell the food cooking, he would come to the door. And in most cases, you would expect a dog to bark to get your attention to come to the door to let him in, not Teo. Teo would just sit in front of the door, reach out with his paw, and gently knock on the door with his paw. And you could come to the door and there he was, all excited, waiting to get a handout. He was something else. He was a great dog and he took to us and I took to him. We enjoyed him very much well. Our stay there was, was very long and enjoyable. And there were times when uh, he would surprise us, like we would go down to the swimming pool on the property. Taya would come along with us and hang out with us and sit with us. He'd stayed with us when it, in rain, on rainy days. He would come into the apartment and stay with us so that he was dry. 
And when the rain stopped, he would be itching to go back out that door. Teo wouldn't bark when he wanted to go out. He would talk to me. Deep in his throat, you could hear this growling sound. Not the kind of growl that you would expect from a dog. Not the kind of growl if they were going to bite you. It wasn't that. He was ta It was his way of talking. And he would let me know that he was anxious to get outside so he could go patrol his domain. And these are just some of our experiences. Not only did we get to know and love the family, we got to know and love the family pet. He actually made us feel comfortable as, as if he was our own dog and our own pet. So embrace the ch chances you get to make friends, whether they're people or animals or all new things. Welcome those things. They're memories that you'll remember for years to come.